What's good y'all? It's you Leaks and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over a Shikai slash Bankai tier list as you guys already know we've got in Kyokusui Getsu, Duality, a bunch of reworks and Benahime got gutted literally right after I posted my last video and we've gotten some new VFXs and a ton of reworks but before we get into this video i'd like to announce i am going to be giving away a ball of fireworks essence and a partial essence at 15,000 subscribers which is worth more than a ton of true hogs guys so make sure to join the link in the description leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and before we get into this video take into account before you're commenting all your paragraphs that this is based off my experience not based off your experience guys because a lot of y'all be like nah this is better because of this and that but we might not have the same experiences we might not have had the same builds or used them in the right ways so i know a lot of you guys are gonna agree a lot of you guys are gonna disagree but when commenting bro don't just be yapping give me an actual argument most of y'all just be like l tier list or something and you don't have any explanation to back up anything you're saying but without further ado let's get straight into this video man all right guys so as i've been doing it recently we are going s good decent mid and garbage i think this works a lot better and then we're also going to go all the way from the comments to the new mythicals guys starting off with berserk berserk is actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie guys mind you i'm gonna give my reasoning on where i place everything and yeah we might change it up as we go on if we realize like oh that one should be a bit higher that one should be a bit lower but berserk is actually decent i might put in good but right now i'm gonna put in decent and let me explain why because a lot more people have been using it that move that like you jump back in the air and you pretty much just auto track the player is actually really good and a ton of hakata players have been going crazy with the combos with berserk so it definitely is a really good comment to have and then water just got a new vfx but it's still mid bro it's honestly not that good i see some players can be good with it some of y'all be demons with water but majority of the time if you see a water use it they're gonna be pretty garbage so we're gonna keep that in the mid tier and then we have lightning bro this is one of the best comments if not the best comment in the game and i'm gonna go ahead and throw it in s tier bro lightning is actually pretty insane it's pretty self-explanatory if you've played the game you know that lightning should belong at least in rare bro if not legendary but yeah lightning's up there and then we have confusion complete garbage bro i know a lot of you guys are gonna say oh you don't know how to use it right blah 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 it's garbage bro you're not gonna see a good confusion user nine out of ten of the times bro and then <clears throat> we have shadow what are we gonna do with shadow so guys shadow actually did just get a rework and has like a new spike ball thing but even before that people have been going crazy with shadow people have been getting these commons and making them the new meta bro shadow is actually pretty nice and a really good common as well i'm gonna go ahead and throw it into good i would put it at like s minus but we just have the good here so yeah we're gonna consider this kind of like the s minus or a plus shadow is actually really nice and then we have creation a lot of you guys are gonna yap and be like no creation is really good i played against it in ranked and once you learn how to play against it it's pretty easy to counter guys but we're gonna go ahead and put it in decent below berserk it's actually not that bad it's definitely better than water and that's it for the commons then we got fire where are we gonna put fire bro i i've been seeing a little bit more users using it since the rework but it's just not as cool as it used to be in my opinion i think we're also gonna throw it in decent and i would put it above creation most definitely and i'm not gonna lie i thought wind was a common y'all let me know if i'm wrong about that wind used to be a common but i guess it's a rare now people have been going crazy with wind hakata actually i'm not gonna lie my boy lotus been going crazy with that and ever since i have been seeing a ton of people go crazy with wind hakata i'm gonna go ahead and throw it up would it be above berserk i think it would be like around with berserk guys so if you're actually paying attention to my reasoning on this it's gonna be tied most people are gonna be like no way berserk is above win but we're just gonna have him here as a direct tie but obviously i can't do that and then we have zangetsu i'm not gonna lie bro there is some okay players with this but for the most part zangetsu is pretty trash bro they need to change it up it needs an entire rework in my personal opinion but 
it's still gonna be better than creation so we're gonna throw Zangetsu right there in the decent as well and then we have poison I am not gonna lie I played like one or two poison since release bro since release I fought like one or two poison users so y'all can come at me if you'd like but poison is not that good from what I've seen you just put a, like a poison ball and you could literally just dash out of it and there's nothing that they could do about it so we're gonna go ahead and throw poison into mid and yeah below water most definitely i do see it being able to be a decent if i see a good player with it but so far you just don't see poison users nobody uses it now the same case for judgment bro you don't see judgment users you don't see poison users that might have been one of the most useless updates added because nobody uses either of these and i'm gonna go ahead and put judgment in mid as well and i know a lot of people came at me in my other video saying like nah bro judgment's good but i've yet to see it so in my personal experience judgment and poison just aren't really up there with the other ones from what i have seen but let's go ahead and move on to blood automatic s tier bro automatic s tier above lightning i had it going the other way last time and people were yapping but blood is pretty insane a lot of people have actually gotten it to become meta once again in ranked and a lot of people have been going blood speed a lot of you guys were commenting on my video talking about blood speed so it most definitely outshines lightning and deserves its place as a legendary and then we have ink also s tier i just think all of the legendaries are honestly s tier ice s tier automatically but how are we going to rank these i'm gonna go ahead and ice got nerfed guys keep that in mind keep that in mind bro ice is it as good as it used to be the shurikens i think they stop after like two seconds or one second or something like that i'm gonna go ahead and throw it below blood and then for ink and blood hmm, i gotta think about this one i'm not gonna lie guys i'm gonna go ahead and have ink above blood i just think i don't know what i was using blood and maining it and it just wasn't as good as it used to be ink is actually pretty insane and then we have flower as well which is okay i'm gonna go ahead and throw it i'd honestly throw it below ice flower is pretty good if you're the right user but it just doesn't deal as much damage as it looks like it should like when you're using that move that has the circle of millions of blades around you it's not actually really doing any type of damage now a lot of people are gonna come at me bro but theater is not that good as a shikai as a bankai it's pretty insane but as a shikai it's really not that good i'm gonna go ahead and throw it into good it would be like an a plus tier and no it's not better than flower no it's not better than ice no it's not better than blood and no it is not better than lightning or ink bro theater if you think you're really that good with it join up in the court link in the description we could 1v1 for real i'm just letting y'all know right now it's overhyped and doesn't they they did it they did it they did chintsui dirty that's that's what it is bro i also didn't even know suzumabachi was a three percent but after the nerf people have gotten actually pretty good at using it again even though you could block some of the moves or like dash out of them but suzumabachi for hakata is actually pretty insane i'm gonna go ahead and throw it above shadow it would probably be like close to a tie but it's definitely better than the shikai and the bankai is down there so i don't know the bankai really isn't that great as people would assume that it would be but it's definitely in the good as well this is gonna be like the a plus tier guys and then we have benahime which got nerfed to the ground bro you won't even see benahime users anymore it's honestly kind of sad if you're a really good player with it though it can be decent i'm gonna go ahead and throw it below berserk but it's just it's it's not a mythical 0.5 percent let down bro it was in the beginning but then they just nerfed the hell out of it everybody was complaining so now it's pretty cooked now what i main right now kyokas way get to it's insane bro automatically up here top of the s tier it's just beautiful bro you have shatter it deals 10 percent more damage over like 30 seconds of you attacking the player and then you have a move that you go around them and literally slow them down and then you could spawn a clone that could either be super strong or it'll just die instantly it's like a hit or miss 
But Kyoka Suigetsu definitely stomped on all of these. The Bankai is a bit of a letdown. You kind of only get one move and the other one's just trading HP, which is good, but it's definitely not like a boss raid type of Shikai Bankai. And then we have Duality, which just clears it, bro. It clears Kyoka Suigetsu. It's sad to say, honestly, and I do need to rock with it, but as of right now, it just doesn't. Yes, I do know that duality did get nerfed, but it honestly is just pretty brain dead. You could just sit there and spam through skills. It's Bankai has 11 moves, which is pretty insane. And Kyoka Suigetsu players can be duality players. I beat a lot of duality players, but for the most part, duality is going to beat it with the Bankai as well, taken into account. Even though you could trade the HP, which some people could say, oh, I'll just let them damage me and then switch with them, which... I guess if you really want to do that, you could do that, but a Yamato duality is pretty deadly in ranked in Clan Wars, whatever it is, and definitely sits up there. But I'm glad we finally got some mythicals that outshine the legendaries and it didn't get... It didn't end up like Benahime, bro, which was honestly a sad case. Now you guys go ahead and let me know down below in the comment section whether you agree or disagree on some of these and please give me a reasoning instead of just yapping in the comments and complaining. Tell me why you think something should belong in S tier. Tell me why you think something should belong in the garbage tier or wherever you want to place it. And make sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I've been posting every single day. And join that link in the description for the Essence giveaways. I'm going to catch you on the next one. As always, it's Yulikso. Peace.